you know the difference between uh, dot equals and equals equals operator so hello guys interview question was what is the difference between equals equals operator and dot equals method in java so these are completely different things and used for different purpose in java so let's understand this with simple java code so first i'll create two strings here string str1 and equals to new string hello i'll provide the value here also i'll create second string str2 and provide the same value hello here now let's compare this with equals equals operator and dot equals method str1 equals equals str2 and str1 dot equals str2 now first let's execute the code and let's see the result then i'll explain you so you can see for equals equal operator we got the output as false and for dot equals comparison we got the output as true so for equals equals operator we got the output as false because it actually compares the objects and not the value even if the values are same hello hello for the both of the string the objects are completely different str1 is different object and str2 is a different object in heap so because of this we got the output that is false and for second dot equals method that is defined in object class that is a super class for all the classes and that is overridden in string class used for content comparison so because hello hello is the same content for the both of the string this will return the true output for the equals comparison so this is the difference between these two things also equals equals operator is used for primitive data comparison like int num is equals to 9 and num1 is equals to 9 here if we use equals equals operator num1 is equals to equals to num1 and if we see the result here so you can see we got the output as true so this equals equals operator used for primitive data comparison and non primitive data comparison so in primitive data it actually compares the value like 9 9 and in non primitive data like string in this case it actually compares the objects so this is the difference so this is the real scenario that was asked in interview and i hope you understand this thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel thank you